Good morning, fans of the Privateer FX. Coming at you at the New York Open here. Pretty dull session overall. Cable, I guess, did the biggest range. The high was 76. After the numbers, we traded at 62. And then we've been pretty much one-way traffic lower in cable. Looks like cable's turned and the market's going to get caught long. You see this little doji-esque deal here, this engulfer here. Now you look at the four hourlies, also looks quite negative. Uh, so we like selling rallies in cable um, for a move back to uh, 142 the figure. So it looks like there's about 110 points in here if you can, if you can be nimble and be quick. Equities staying at the highs, 96 printed on the e mini. Um, we're still sellers, sort of 98.08, uh, being patient. Crude's lower, dollar cad's marginally higher. Not too much to say there, 55.75. We do think this is an important level, 126.26, easy to remember. 126.26. Aussie, we are still watching 50 and 40. It's been dead though on the downside. Uh, in general, it's just been dead. Second tier numbers today housing and industrial production. We do have a bunch of slew of Fed speakers later, later on today, and this could be interesting with this risk on sentiment post-trade bullshit, Syria doesn't matter, um, there could be some pressure on the rate side, so, you know, got to keep your eyes out for any of these Fed guys and gals, uh, if they are sort of signaling that there's going to be three more hikes or they're signaling that they're worried about inflation or wage or employment or could be anything. Now is not a bad time to um, to wave that flag as the dollar is kind of on its knees as well. So it makes it a lot easier for Fed, Fed officials to be hawkish because I'm sure they're generally cognizant of the value of the dollar or where DXY is. So, you know, you just walk a day in their shoes and you're like, well, if you're going to be hawkish, you might as well be hawkish when the dollar is getting pounded um, versus when the dollar is, you know, on its highs. Food for thought. No real five star setups here. Like I said, we're still watching these levels in Aussie. And in CAD, same levels as yesterday. We're sellers of cable now. Um, Got to be careful, you know. You don't want to get caught short in the 20s and then have to stop out at 76. On all of these fades, the risk reward gets very upside down. So just be very careful with that. And of course, if you don't feel like it, just don't do it. Uh, there's always another trade. Volatility will come back eventually. And it's best not to... Uh, mentally waste energy in this kind of market and certainly don't waste P&L in this kind of market. So with that I will say arrivederci, a dopo, a tout à l'heure. See you later alligators. Good luck out there. Bye, 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 bye.